My name is uh, Satya Satyamurthy. I am with uh, Nielsen Catalina Solutions. Nielsen Catalina Solutions is the world's largest provider of TV and online behavior analytics. And we provide analytics on what people watch and how it relates to what people buy. So we have demographic information about um, every single home, uh, 140 million plus and 320 million plus persons in this country. People buy every day, people watch every day, so it's a lot of data. The very existence of Nielsen Catalina Solutions is to provide analytics on this big data to fulfill three tasks. One is audience definition. We identify the audiences for the various targets. The second one is audience enablement or actually the placement of the ads. And the third one is the return on investment, measuring whether the ad which was placed, where we identify the audience, place the ad, and measure the effectiveness of the ad. Problem was, we should be able to run a number of analytics on the same data set at the same time concurrently. The key factors that made us select H2O, number one was the ability to interface with our existing application using Java. So we had to choose a platform which provides us the interfaces to communicate. Number two is ability to handle the amount of data which we use and we produce. I can customize H2O software to suit my needs and they provided the interfaces for me. Unlike um, other systems where I had to buy the whole package and just use 10 or 20 percent of the package, here I could choose, I can customize the H2O software to suit my needs and they provided the interfaces for me. We don't want to use the UI, so be it. We don't want to use the R implementation, so be it. The interfaces which H2O provides, uh, for example, we wanted a REST API to communicate with our Java implementation and H2O provided REST API and the speed um, of support. We wanted to add new data munging algorithm and we could tap into the developers and we could get the data munging algorithm implemented quickly. And the other reason for choosing H2O is open source. I'm a big fan of open source and we find that uh, open source obviously is the best fit for our needs, both in terms of cost as well as in terms of ease of use and scalability and usability. Cost is not the only issue, okay? I am a firm believer of getting professional support for open source, and we have got professional support from H2O. There's a problem, for example, in open source, there are hundreds of developers uh, around the globe who are actually having a visibility into the product, into the code, and they can fix the problem before even it surfaces. I was able to tap into anybody in the support team and, and ask them questions or we wanted a new feature to be introduced, uh, we tapped into H2O uh, support team and uh, they were able to quickly build the feature for us. The learning cycle was very small for H2O compared to other open source tools too. What is my experience using H2O platform? It has been a great experience at this point of time. And it has provided the ease of development and ease of implementation, ease of the performance as well as uh, the scalability, what we have expected thus far.